Hi, this video um, is entitled, Is VPN Safe and Secure? Um, I'm in it. I just want to show you a couple of the um, options in the uh, VPN software where I use called Identity Cloaker that can make your connection even more secure and um, safe from prying eyes. Uh, let me just show you now. I'll bring up Identity Cloaker. Identity Cloaker is um, a program I've been using for quite a while. It's um, allows you access to a, a network of um, encrypted VPN SSH servers uh, all across the world. Um, the software sits in your um, taskbar, but you can set this up manually if you like. There's also a, a little handy um, version that sits on a, a, a USB key, so you can just run it directly. Uh, if you travel a lot, um, that's worth doing. Okay, so I'm just going to show you here. Um, this is the Identity Cloaker, the sort of front end that sits on the client. Uh, you can see here, these are all the VPN servers that you can connect to. Um, now, one thing you should do if you're really concerned about security and you want the strongest possible settings, um, there's a couple of things you can do uh, that differ from the, the normal settings in Identity Cloaker, okay? Uh, the first thing you need to look about is encryption level, okay? Um, as you can see, it's by default it's set on strong. And if we just look at the menu here, here it is. Data traffic is uh, encrypted with 128-bit AES cipher. Okay, so that's pretty secure. But if you're a, a bit paranoid or you really want the best that um, encryption level you can get, you can actually bump this up to maximum. Um, there's no real reason why you shouldn't have it on maximum, to be honest. Um, the only reason I wouldn't have it on sometimes if you're doing lots of video streaming and stuff like that, there's kind of no real point in encrypting traffic like that. But um, on any relatively uh, fast PC, you won't notice any difference in performance between max and strong uh, encryption level. So let's just leave it on max there. Excuse me. Okay, the next setting is for real security. Uh, it really moves up a notch. Now, one of the, the concerns people sometimes have with using these VPN servers is that all your data is logged, all it is, is goes through one particular server. So, but in theory, there could be a log on one server of all your internet browsing and activity, just as there is in your ISP. But of course, if you use encryption, the ISP logs are not readable. Um, Identity Cloaker um, follows the sort of European directives on um, storing data. In basically, they don't store any information at all. They store how much has been, how much data has been transferred. They don't actually store um, details of the visits or where you go or what you download. Uh, and even the amount you transferred is deleted. Um, within a day or so. So there's no actual records of what you browse online. But if you use one distinct VPN server, so if you connect generally through to a UK server, of course, all your browsing will go through that one particular address. So if somebody wanted to track you down, they will see that your connection is going through one particular server. They won't be able to read it because the, it's encrypted. But needless to say, there is a the, there is one point, single point, where you browse through. Okay, now to to make this even more secure, what you can do is use this um, randomized uh, proxy setting, okay? So here, you can get your internet connection to switch every few minutes. So let's, if we say, switch through every five minutes. And here we can select what sort of... Um, switching is done. So you can get it to switch only between Russian proxies, uh, Australian, Czech Republic, whatever. You can also um, click through nearest place. So what that would do is every five minutes, it would take a look at the nearest proxies to you, which will usually be the fastest as well, and switch to a different server. Or what most people do is leave it on any country, and that means every five minutes or whatever you specify here, will um, switch your connection through to a different server, okay? So this is highly secure. Um, you can use it if you need to rotate your IP address really quickly. 
uh, because this is what that will do, because you'll have a different IP address every w few minutes here. But it also means you're not browsing through the same place. Now, there is a slight delay when it switches servers, so um, you probably want to think twice about having it every two minutes or one minute, because you'll get a little stutter every time when it disconnects one server and connects to another. Uh, it is highly secure, really is secure as well, if... Um, use the settings but there'll, there'll be a little bit of lag in the performance there it's kind of not noticeable if you're um if you're just browsing normally but if you're trying to stream stuff or um uh play things with videos and constantly updating it, it could be a pain uh bear in mind um if you're logged into something like ssl sites or things like that um switching your ip address is can flag sort of security warnings there they could log you out so if you're in a home banking site and you've logged on and um, you change your ip address three times in the session they're probably going to log you off um, it depends on the service Okay, well, I won't go on any further than that. That's uh, some of the, the the things you can do to make uh, the VPN in Identicloaker even safer than it is now. Um, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.